Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG. And we do have a new one here today, AFK Towers. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are on the way to 12k and we're closer every single day. But I was just minding my own business and, you know, searching through the Play Store randomly. Didn't expect to really find anything, but I did. AFK Towers. It's apparently only a couple of months old. At least that's what I think it says in its update notes and there's literally only like a thousand downloads for it so far i can understand why on one hand obviously and on the other hand as a cultivation enthusiast and idol game enjoyer of this genre i can't believe that i haven't seen this one before i mean first of all when you log into the game to begin with you get to choose between being a human and a, like a non-human i chose to be a dragon i'm a dragon i mean that's already a good start in my book but you know as with all of these newer ones pros and cons okay pros and cons so first things first i'm actually going to start at the bottom this time and we're going to go through each of the uis because this game was actually incredibly vast i've been blown away by it in a lot of ways and disappointed in others but we'll we'll get to that first off bag is pretty standard this actually really reminds me this game has taken elements of Immortal Towers, Over Mortal, Journey to Immortality, and half a dozen other games and thrown them together. This right here, straight up Immortal Towers. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, it looks a little bit cleaner, but it is pretty much Immortal Towers and it's self-explanatory. It's the inventory, that's your equipment. Cultivation methods is again, literally, you buy the books from the market and it gives you stats and then you level that up with the chi that you generate over time it's literally like immortal towers in that regard which is i mean this was never a bad system for immortal towers to have but it was a forgotten one as you went in through the game but we'll we'll ignore that that's besides the point right now sect now sect is pretty much the same as any of the other games when it comes to this kind of genre little bit different obviously i can't go into some areas you've got the elders area again very much like Immortal Towers, you can do certain things with them every day and get rewards. Supernatural power is literally just sect power, you level it up and you get stats for it. I can't generate genuine chi yet because I've just started the game. This is the co-op stuff, the Uncharted Realms. You can go with friends or you can just fight in it alone. Thing is, I'm pretty sure it might be quite difficult to actually use the go with friends things right now since there's only a thousand people. And there's only a few servers open, and there is a long, long time between server opens. I, I'm in a server that opened at the start of this month, so I am super, super, super low level, which is about to be expected, really. Can I, can I do it? Let's find out. Waiting for other Cultivator players to join. The Uncharted Realm will open automatically when all players join. Yeah. Or I can spend five to summon a, a bot, basically, is what I'm assuming. Somehow I think that's what most people are doing in this game right now since there just simply isn't enough players in it. And then you've got sec tasks which is basically you get five a day, we all know how that works. What's interesting is that through the sec system there is like a way to I suppose challenge other cultivators. You can do a flying sword, you can do a guessing challenge and they can like set rewards. You can challenge them to fights and try and be like 1v3, 1v1 and last as long as you can. Or an actual, like, literal game. So, that is super interesting to me. This is a game, just from judging from that, that needs to be kept open and constantly running. It does still generate stuff in the background because I downloaded this yesterday and I only just hit Foundation. I logged on, obviously, just before I started recording and went straight to Foundation 9. It's quite a while till I get 10 and then to the next level, Golden Core. That's not happening today, somehow. Fight I can't go into. I'm assuming that's Arena though. It's only two levels away since I'm level 19 right now. Artifacts. This is essentially the Curio system. Except arguably a little bit better since you can explore once a day and actually earn Curio shards, shall we say. Artifact shards. This to battle thing, it's not entirely accurately translated. And that shows in some things. But some of, some of the other bits are just like perfectly translated. But the artifacts could be equipped and that basically becomes your skill lineup. So you'll constantly be moving that around to try and beat a boss. Artifact is obviously all the artifacts that you've unlocked. Some are, some attack and some just gives passives. 
And fragments is obviously, once you reach enough, you can combine them and create a stronger artifact. All that's fairly straightforward, but it is nice and simple in a way, because it is super simple to just swap them out and try out a different build. I like that because it's just streamlined, to be honest. Now, experience is essentially the combat. And honestly, th this is actually part of what surprised me, how good the combat looks. This, like, I, I obviously have it on auto and sped up. This, this place is going to clap me. I, I wasn't ready to fight this, just saying. But I really like the way they've done combat here. It's different. It's so different, and it actually looks good. And that's really part of what shocked me, because I wasn't expecting anything, like, good or unique from this especially after i found so many similar systems from other games but i mean that's a cool combat system i can't even lie this journey thing is just basically free stuff every now and then you do tasks you earn the points you go around the board simple enough fairy island is another weird thing and i've still not even figured out why it's called immortal pet journey but it's weird look right so you come in here and you earn money but every shot you use actually costs you gold so you have to be able to kill them and earn the money in the same amount of time it's so this is so weird to me i've never seen a cultivation game take on board a system like this to earn gold some similar at least in the sense that you go into a realm and the things you kill drop money that's basically as close as it gets but it's usually never a cultivation game like this. Now, auto is not really the best thing here. I need to be aiming at these little ones because I don't do enough damage. So that's how we earn money here until I start actually doing some damage. But yeah, you get the idea. On the left are like skills, but they get used up. I have to buy more of them. So I'm not going to I'm not going to use that. And on the right, I can like pause time and use different skills. Uh, you can see down there on the left is actually someone else here at the same time. So that's pretty cool in and of itself. But I don't see people who come in here using those skills. I think they just turn it on and leave it. And that's good enough. And I don't think it's really worth me coming here until I've leveled up more. Because I basically only just break even here, which isn't great. But yeah, that's super weird. Super weird thing to have. And it costs a lot of money to get those skills and the extra attack and stuff. So, use sparingly, I guess. Demon Tower is the equivalent of, you know, Pandemonium Tower, I suppose. Every, every game has this, you know, the Endless Tower. Or, you know, it caps somewhere and then it increases later on, depending on where you're at with your content. Demonic Beast, World Boss. Pretty much easiest way to describe it is World Boss. Adventure? is basically the same as when in Immortal Towers those random events would pop up and you'd be able to give them a pill or ignore them. That's basically what Adventure is here. So you can really see how <laughs> this game has taken major things from all of the popular games and just shoved them into one. And frankly speaking, it's not done too bad, not gonna lie. But now let's get into the actual, what I consider the most interesting part of it. And that's me just clicking along on the... Uh, UI here. I'm just clicking to the right. Furnace and equipment room. I'm not going to go into that because that's that's obvious. You make pills here, you make equipment here, and as you level up, it gets better. You got to buy the recipes. Very standard for this kind of game. Fairy brew can't do it yet, but I'm assuming that's like big stat stuff. Now, another thing that they've taken from uh, Immortal Towers here is the building system. You've got logging that you've got to level up in order to make wood, and the wood helps you level up. Your other production facilities like food, you need food to do adventure. Immortal Veins gives you spirit stones. We all know we don't level that one up because that's just a waste. Spirit Pool, this is basically where you get the chi to level up your technique books, which I showed you earlier. I like that this has been instituted into it, but I'm just really surprised. It is because it's surprisingly in-depth for a game that's only got a thousand people playing it. But we're going to get to why I think that's the case. We'll get there. Now, of course, no cultivation game, you know, would be a cultivation game without a Taoist partner. Obviously, as you go through, and I'm assuming later on I'm going to unlock the ability to start rolling for characters and partners. And the rarity of the partner, you know, depends on the extra stats that you get from them, basically. 
I've already interacted with them, but it's basically just a dice game. You've got to keep your eye on the dice and make sure you pick the right one. Relatively simple. You take the person back into your house, and I'm assuming it gives a cultivation buff, but I have not been playing long enough to see that yet. Now, what I really want to get into for this last bit is all of that stuff at the top. There's a lot going on here. Travel, this is basically rolling for shards for your artifacts. Simple enough, simple gacha system, but an inherent with any gacha system, you basically instantly know if there's a gacha system as soon as you start the game that this is going to be a pay-to-win game. And yeah, not wrong. Pill is literally the same as Immortal Towers. So you've got a certain amount of pills you can use from each stage before the effect is lost, so you can rinse your marrow to increase the max limit. This history thing is just one-time achievements that you can get, as well as titles, which give you extra stats, but that's not really something you're going to be going into much, I don't think. Ranking self-explanatory, letter is just normal mail. So there are normal newbie events, you know, but with that, you've got ads here, three times for those ads. That's actually not that bad, really. 20 premium currency for one ad is seems to be okay. But the further we go down here, the more crazy things get. Accumulated purchases, weekly packs, way to ascension, which is just basically another form of battle pass, immortal fate, seven day login, standard stuff, cultivation level. That's really just the beginner stuff and all the beginner rewards for just playing the game. Cards, monthly and quarterlies, standard and completely unsurprising that these are a thing in the game honestly gift even more most of these things seem to be a one-time buy but i'm assuming some other one-time buy is just going to come up and replace it afterwards there are very 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 many very very many pay to win options here that it is honestly damn near overwhelming and that's kind of a shame in a lot of ways because i know that's going to put people off and frankly, it's a free-to-play so far, obviously. The game's been fun. It's honestly been fun. It's, it's been a change of pace having so many more things to do. Obviously, with any idle game, it's going to die down and, you know, stop being active. But it's been a nice little thing, especially since I'm a dragon. I like that. I can freaking cultivate as a dragon to human form. That's sick. Good stuff. Task is just dailies. Match. That seems to be like a daily tournament, but I'm not too sure on that yet because I haven't seen it. Auction self-explanatory, market self-explanatory, and this also is literally like a copy-paste of Immortal Towers store. I mean, look, the scriptures. you got to buy them, you can only learn them once, and then you level them up from there. It's, it's classic. It's absolutely classic Immortal Towers. And then you can outright just buy the premium currency. It's literally the same store, honestly. Mystery Chamber seems to be an, something that you earn by doing one-off tasks. You see at the top right there, I've gained four of them just from playing the game. Obviously, I don't know where to spend them here, but it seems better to just get these method books because you can only learn them once, and all these other ones seem to be different ones. Love Talisman. You find your groove after completing double cultivation. You can automatically continue it with other preferred partner. <laughs> <laughs> freaking viagra talisman all right but yeah that's basically afk towers in a nutshell i was surprised by it absolutely more surprised by the fact that there was so much pay to win when there's only a thousand people playing it so that's weird to me really quite weird it looks cheaper than other games on the market currently and again that's probably because there's only a thousand players but at the same time it's they should have just done ads I think, to begin with, there may be tiny packs, because I feel like all those big-ass packs are going to put people off, even if they're a whale, and that's a shame, because this is actually a unique game on the market now, since Immortal Towers died in a hole, alone, and scared. But yeah, that's enough out of me. I'll put the link in the description below. Hopefully everyone can check it out for themselves. We'll see how it goes. Tell me what you think. But as always, have a great day.